Yes, let's have a look and uh, maybe we can see some dangers with microwaves in this video. I found this microwave at the dumpster. And it looks quite uh, nasty inside it. So yes, but I think it works. The magnetron turns on and everything. Nothing wrong with it. But yes, it's a for this budget version is a Severin 700. Like 700 watts of microwave energy. Let's turn it on and see on these power meters. You will clearly see when the magnetron filament is heat, heated up. And now the magnetron turned on. You can see that the reactive power dropped. I saw a video on YouTube, a guy that put uh, some matches and light them up in the microwave. So I should try that and see how it looks like. I've never done that before. Yes, now they are in there, three of them. Like 120 degrees uh, shifted, like a three-phase load. So I'm going to light them up and see what happens. And look at more flame. Turn it on. Nothing happens. I want some plasma in there. Oh, here we go. That's nice. I'm out of matches, I think. It's hot in there. Now I got a little longer piece of wood instead of a match. So I think this one will uh, work much better. So let's light it up. It's burning. Yes, here we go. Something happens. It burns much better. Yes, here we got some. You can see where it lights up, where the hot spots are, like there and somewhere here as well. So yes, we can clearly see the hot spots. We got a hot spot there that goes right through and the one there. And now I can like shut it off. And just close it. Smells like burnt wood in here. What a strange thing. And before you open or do anything with electrical appliances, always unplug. And before I opened it, I just saw this one. Caution, microwave energy, do not remove this cover. So I think I can't remove it. So thanks for watching. Just joking. Let's have a look inside. We got some uh, screws uh, all around it. Now all the screws are removed, but not this one because this is a looks like a safety torx. Little pin in it. There is two ways you can uh, remove that, or actually there is three ways. You can use one of these, grab it around and rotate it. That's one way. The second way is to actually break this little pin here. Then you put a flat head, a small flat head in there and just like break it. Like that. It's quite easy to break those. Or the third way is to use a proper screwdriver and open it like it should be opened. So yes, let's remove the cover. So yes, here we can see the microwave components. We got a timer here, we got a circuit over here with a relay and some power resistors. Maybe it's some kind of soft start for the main transformer here. We got a Jens magnetron, a fan, 
a capacitor and its diode and in here we've got a fuse and there's a lot of more circuit as well we've got a light bulb here we've got some thermal cutout we've got only one thermal cutout here mini microwaves has two there's one on the magnetron and one on the box here metal body so if you actually put uh, like a wood in there and light it on fire it should trip and we've got some wires here going to the turntable and always if you doing work on microwave always discharge that capacitor because it can hold some charge in it this time i'm going to use these pliers and hopefully it will not explode like last time now it's time to discharge the capacitor now it's time to discharge it let's see what happens yeah and we just discharge it like this make sure that you have a connection between those two like this because of maybe it can happen that these capacitors don't have the discharge resistor or maybe it's malfunctioning if you have a look at this fuse here the high voltage fuse there's some uh, stripes on it and it's stuck to the capacitor remove it from the transformer and yes here we got the, uh, the fuse we remove the fuse and have a little look at it here's a close-up on the fuse we got the spring here and a thin wire this is a 5 kilovolt and 0.7 amp fuse so if we got a high current this little uh, wire strip here will uh, melt and this spring will fly back like this, like this and break the arc it's a quite good solution, but what happens if you get a little bit more arcing in there, that you will get this glass conducting and uh, it will not work. It will just uh, set the whole thing on fire. But hopefully it's a 5 kilovolt and should be able to disconnect the 3 kilovolts peak voltage of the transformer and it's AC so it, so it should be much easier to break than DC. And this is quite funny, they use this to like save some money by avoiding the screws here and screw terminals to keep this light bulb down. And here we got a place that they can actually put a thermal uh, cutout, like this one uh, down there. A thermal cutout fits perfectly in there. Look at that, it's like made for it. Or you can have it like this. Yes, in the next part I will show you what can fail in a microwave during operation. Also, I will try to open up this capacitor and we'll have a look how they look like inside. And maybe we can talk a little bit about the dangers with the magnetron because there are some dangers with the magnetron as well, as well with the high voltage here and the capacitor and everything. And of course, keep safe. Thanks for watching.